Where are we today, Kath? We're in the exhibition gallery space in the Shakespeare North, sitting on a remarkable seat. Yeah, it looks like an Elizabethan seat. It's probably 1600s, is it? Mm. But you're allowed to sit on it. It's actually a selfie seat. Mm. And it's in the um, it exhibition feels... space at the Shakespeare North. Gallery. Theatre. Gallery. Um, I feel it's nice and comfortable, aren't you? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, so we're going to do a review, aren't we, on... Yep. Spoken word. Yeah, we're doing another Shakespeare review. Which actually took place in the gallery space it's, it last took, week. It took place in here, which is a great space, actually, for exhibitions and stuff. And they've got a film shown at the moment of the history of Prescott and the building of the theatre and stuff like that. And the techniques. Which features a lot of local people on there, which is great. Yeah, the other week we went to see um, a spoken word event at the theatre here, which was called... Itch or Scratch? <laughs> I no, the two confused. It's, it's called Itch, Kath. That's right. And the Scratch is the poetry workshop. Apparently, there's a workshop version of it, which is called Scratch, and Itch is, is the, the actual performance. stand up performance yeah. uh, workshop. So, um, out of curiosity, we decided to go, didn't we? Mm. What did you think of it? Of the, the night itself? Yeah. Um, well, it was the first one I've been to here. I thought it was really well attended. Yeah. And there was a good number of speakers, poetry readings. Yeah. Um, I think it was Charlie was the compere, was he? Or Charlie was a good bloke, wasn't he? Was, he? He was great at in introducing people in, mm. and he did some of his own spoken word, his yeah, own did. poetry. But I thought the range of poetry was really diverse and interesting. Mm. People, some local people, some people yeah. from further afield. And um, I think it will be an event that will grow. Well, I hope it grows. As time goes, yeah. Uh, my initial feeling was, when we, when we got into the thing, is uh, it was on the night that... And at the very same time but they had that they had Midsummer's, Midsummer's Night Night's Dream, Dream in yeah, there. Yeah. And they were doing all that stuff that they do. In the foyer. And <laughs> it was a bit confusing, really, because um, we were coming in for the uh, uh, spoken, spoken word, word event and we didn't really know where to go. It's a bit mixed up. And we ended up here because it was advertised as being in the cafe which it wasn't in the cafe, they moved it to here because of the events there. Uh, so I think my impression was that they're just still finding the way mm. with this event, aren't they? Yeah. Um, it's the very first time I've ever paid. Well, it's a new delivery, isn't it, of this type of event? Here, yeah. So. Well, it's the first time I've ever paid for a poetry reading. Yeah, probably me too. Yeah. Um, so I've never done that before. Mm. But it was interesting. It was interesting. Some of, the, some of the age ranges of people who were delivering their work was quite vast really from quite young yeah and quite forceful um to more mellow um and mm. there was a lovely there was a lovely poetry written by a lady from per persia oh it's the persian in the, um in the persian language which was oh yeah very, it was very uh, melodic wasn't it melodic. i mean you didn't even understand the persian language but, but it was yeah, really lovely to listen to yeah yeah it was a nice i think it was more about the expression wasn't yeah. it and how she was conveying yeah yeah it was very good. Mm. Um, I enjoyed the night on the whole. I yeah. really did. I would go to the next one. I'd, I'd go to I'd the next interested. one and I might even get up and read some poetry. That'd be good. Um, because I was tempted to get up on the night because I have written loads of poetry, but it's when I've been like, it's 40 years ago since I performed poetry. Mm. I wasn't ex expecting to be asked to, to recite poetry and um, it, so it took me a bit off, off kilter, really. But I'm glad I went there to see what it's like. And I might do um, a little so poetry next reading mm. next time. Which is in November. Yeah, it's it? once a month, this poetry, um, uh, this itch thing. So it'll be around about the 11th of November, won't yeah, it? Yeah, and it's yeah. the same with um, the scratch. And the alternates, I mean, scratch is two weeks after between, itch. Yeah. And mm. itch is two weeks after scratch, mm. if you see what I mean but they're still every once a month. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a great thing. It, and it takes a lot of courage to get up and read your own words and yes. poetry and to I, perform I think, them in front of an yeah, audience. Yeah, because I think it, it, you're exposing your, your soul, really, aren't you? You, real, you really are. It's very delicate. Yeah, yeah, you really are. So it takes a lot of courage to do that. So I admire anybody who gets up and reads their own words mm. in public. But I also believe that um, poetry is there to be spoken 
And listened to. And listened to. And it's yeah. supposed to be performed. Yeah. So I think it's the best way to understand poetry, yeah. mm. in actual fact. In actual fact, look at this. I didn't prepare for this, obviously. I bought my own. That was the first poetry book I ever bought when I was living in Green Old Court. In Prescott? Yeah. 1977, wow. bought that. And it's got it a wistful a young man. Skeleton. Yeah. And it took, it's to teach you, teach yourself book, teach you how to read, how to write poetry. And um, I read it from cover to cover at the time. Did and it inspire you to write then? Well, yes, it did, actually. It did. I, yeah. I don't think I learned anything from it, but it actually inspired me to write poetry mm. um, because I think poetry happens on a subconscious level. Mm. And often, when I've written poetry in the past, I've never even thought about it. No, I think it's more it's, of an evocative response it's to almost, a situation that happens yeah. in life. Isn't and it? it's almost like what you're thinking, where did that come from? Mm. Where did them words come from? Mm. I must have dreamt them. Mm. It's kind of like your subconscious coming out. It's, that's what poetry is. It's about yeah. the subconscious and, and being able to speak, I suppose. Mm. So, yeah, it's... Um, and what do you think it, it, it gives to yourself by putting it into the, the, the written word? Um, I think you can feelings, express yourself in yeah. poetry in ways that you can't do. In any other form. In any mm. other form of writing. Mm. Uh, I think it, it speaks... So do you think you can be a bit more honest I can, poetry? Yeah, I yeah. think you can speak from the soul, from the almost. Yeah. And the poems that I, w I wrote in my early 20s that are still, I think, relevant today and still have meaning, mm. Mm. you know. Yeah, because poetry has no bounds, really. It has no time, beginning and no. end, does it? When you think of people like John Keats, John Keats, Keats is a beautiful poet. And he, he was only in his early 20s when he died. Mm. But he wrote some timeless poetry that yeah. even today is seen it's as, seen as, as very, some of the yeah. most classic poetry ever. And I think when you're in your early teens and you're writing poetry, mm. it's mo more like there's an intensity there mm. in the language well, and there the would thoughts. Be, because there's a lot of... And the hormones going around physical, and all physiological of that. Physiological changes. changes. Yeah. yeah. So that's when I think... Young Whereas when you, I think, well, well, I noticed that on the night here uh, um, in the gallery, uh, in the exhibition space where we are now, that the younger poets, I can't remember the particular chap's name, but he was very forceful and very dramatised in the words. And he really... The fellow with the crosses on his yes, glasses. Yes, that's right. I can't, sorry, I can't, I can't recall your name, but I, no. it was really interesting the way he delivered. Yeah. The it, work. It yeah. was. And, uh, but it was very powerful and it was very to the point and it wasn't held back in, back in any way. Whereas some, I suppose some, when you get into your, um, not old years, but when you, you, you've, you've experienced various other life happenings and situations, it be, your poetry becomes a bit more philosophical and a bit more mellow, maybe. Possibly. Possibly, can do. Not as intense. Mm. He was quite intense, wasn't he? I like the glasses then. He was so intense, he got too close to the microphone, I couldn't understand a word he said. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a that, that's a performance issue. You need to hone that performance. Don't 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 gobble up the microphone because it'll just distort the language. Well, they could. Um, I think it was because the, the the mic and the mice have needed turning down a little bit, mm. possibly. But that's why we hold the mic down here. Yeah. See, <laughs> we hold it down here so it's not too close to our voices. So you, it might be but a bit I echoey. I think it's quite fitting to have spoken word in a theatre because it's. Shakespeare Playhouse. Absolutely. And it links to all... Well, it'd be wrong not to not have to it have here. It, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Just think that when I was writing this poetry in my early teens, I, would, I used to look... My, my um, home was in Green Old Court. I used to look directly over here at Mill Street Car Park. And... Um, I used to look over from Mill Street Car Park at an empty space. Mm. Who'd have thought, 40 years on, there would be, there would be a, a, a 
yeah. a theatre here. Yeah, but not that only a theatre. It, it now completes the trilogy with the Globe, the RSC in Stratford and the Shakespeare North Playhouse in Prescott. It does. So that's and the full circle, if you like. So it's been waiting to happen. But this would have inspired me as a youth. 20 years. And maybe if, I, if I, this had been built when I was a youth, I would have become mm. a writer rather than... OK, that was the first. Battery went. Battery went. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so you, you, you were saying about, you know, uh, where you lived in Greenhall Court, you used to look out onto waste ground and would never have envisaged a theatre would have been... Yeah, if I had known, it would have changed my career, course, I think. Yeah. The fact that this was um, here and I was, I was writing stuff mm. back then. Yeah, because you did creative... a lot more writing then than you did, do now. Because you're doing yeah. all the creative albums now, yeah. aren't you? So. I have written a book, by the way. Mm. I've written four books. Only one of them have been published. And who's that by? By me. <laughs> anyway. It? Um, it's by you. Yeah. Um, what's coming up is um, we've just had a, had, um, a thing. Right. We, well, what's coming up it's, for it's the, the theatre? For, we went to see Midsummer Night's Dream and it was amazing. We loved it. Yeah, I know. We, we vlogged that. So the last night, tomorrow night, 22nd of October. Yeah. And then in between... The girl program, on reception. Um, the lovely given... lady from reception. Sorry, I've forgotten. I don't know her name. No. Um, should have asked. Strange Tale. Strange Tale. It's coming up. Um, by Imagineerum Theatre. Uh, and that is the... 2nd to the 5th, 5th, to the 5th of November. Of November. Um, so that's a good one. That's I might a, actually go and see that. Yeah, that's a, by a local group, Imaginarium. Yeah. And, um, and the then one Christmas we're Carol, which in for. we've got tickets for, is the 25th of November yeah. to the 7th of January. Yeah. And it'll be interesting to see that performance. And yeah. Do that. Okay. Okay, that's great. Um, and yeah. Like we said last night, tomorrow night, 22nd of October, Midsummer yeah. Night Stream. Midsummer's Night Stream is the last night on the Tomorrow, 22nd. Yes. So probably by the time you watch this, it would have been finished then. OK. OK. Um, well, um, thanks for watching. And um, I hope we didn't waffle on too much. If we did, then... It's can, usually you, though, isn't it? Waffles? You can always uh, leave, a, leave a message. If you want to take part in a, in a um, Playhouse chat or a review, if you've seen any, anything here at the Playhouse that you're, you're burning or itching, to say yeah, something about, to get going or scratching with. to get going with, then you can come along and we'll do a chat in, in the foyer at the, or anywhere else. This is a lovely space. The I love this kind of space. This is great. It's a yeah. bit echoey, but never mind. It's yeah. um, when there's a few people here, it's not so echo echoey. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, we'll see you next time, shall we? Yes, we shall. Thanks yeah. for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye.